Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo Megablox UNSC Hanger Deck. Um, this is set three, no, 2 out of 3 for the booster frame. And it contains 53 pieces, so not so many. And is not set 97133. I think I already said that. Anyways, um, so here's the back. It shows you the other two sets where you can build a, the booster frame. It contains the shotgun, the SOCOM ODST pistol, and the small SMG. And here's some details about it. So, actually, I haven't even read that yet. So it says he's in the cyan color. So this is one of the only cyan figures that they've made so far. They've only made two. At least I think. They lead in the spurt and I think that's it. Anyway, so uh, it's good to start with the figure here. Sorry if my light's getting in the way. Anyways, uh, so here he is. He's in an awesome paint. I mean, it looks really nice on him. Came out perfectly. Nothing wrong with him at all. I mean, the color scheme, the uh, cyan and black just looks awesome. Even though I'm not a fan of the EVA, this just looks really cool. And I think this is supposed to be Kelly. I think that's her name from Halo Legends. So, I'm not sure if that's her name or not. But they could have just named the figure that I wish. That would have been cooler. More cool. But anyways, this set as well comes with three weapons. The SOCOM. It's also in the smoke color, which makes no sense. But it's also, it's a pretty cool weapon. It looks cool in that color, kind of. Next is the SMG, first time we've gotten in this color. And the shotgun, which I put on his back, and it is deciding not to come off. It's really, really, really stuck in there. So, uh, yeah, we already got that weapon in the Series 5 pack, so it's not new. So, um, yeah, that's it for the figure and the weapons. Let's get started on the um, hair duck, which does not look like a hair duck at all. I have no idea what it is. But um, I'm definitely going to take this thing apart to make the booster frame kind of looks like crap. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, it, this was definitely just built from the booster frame. I mean, they made the booster frame first, and then they just they took it apart and see what they could make. And uh, this is pretty sure what they came out with. I mean, it makes it it just looks terrible, and I don't know what it is. But um, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to go over. Let me just give you a quick view of it. You know, but if you want um, some of these these orange pieces for customs, this is a good set to pick up. So. I mean, you could you, you could make a good amount of customs with this set, so I guess that's kind of good. They give you this awesome black back base, back black base plate. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's basically it for this review. Next, um, I will show you the booster frame. I've already reviewed the crawler alpha crawler set, the uh, corner terminal, which is awesome. That's probably the best set of the booster frames. Definitely pick that one up. You're only gonna pick one of the booster frames. Get that one. Anyways, so uh, ratings. I'm probably gonna go about six out of ten. Only because the figure is the only reason why I'm given that, that rating. It's not a good one, because this thing sucks, but weapons kind of suck, except for the soak and pistol. It's cool, and the figure's good. But um, next video um, will be on the ODST battle unit or the booster frame, so please stay tuned for that. Um, it'll be up within, I don't know, two hours after this is uploaded. So um, please stay tuned for that. I'm, ha I'm going to get all the Halo Mega Box summer sets, so please stay tuned for that, as well as all the LEGO Star Wars sets. Um, if you're in... For if you're into one of the one or the other um, sets, or if you're into both, so um, really recommend that you subscribe if you love them. Um, I do videos a lot, so and uh, if you ask me to subscribe to you, I will do so. Just message me or comment, and I will subscribe to you for sure. You don't have to subscribe to me; I will subscribe to you. So um, that's basically it for this review. Uh, please stay tuned for the booster frame next. I'm excited to build that one. It looks very cool. And uh, thanks for watching.